Hey guys, it's currently uh, 3.13 in the morning and I'm about to take an hour drive out to the shore to film the sunrise with my Canon C100 uh, just to mess around, so let's see how this goes. I'm pretty tired. about 5 15 i have made it here in long branch new jersey <laughs> about an hour drive i'm kind of tired but i'm gonna get used to it because i want to do this more and more and i'm gonna film the sunrise I got the boardwalk right over there i'm gonna go set up in, in a few minutes and then i'm gonna see what i can capture all right let's do it okay it's about 5 30 um i have the camera all set up Got a nice view of the boardwalk from the boardwalk here. Got my C100 set up here. And over there, I got a time lapse camera. So, we're gonna see what we can get from two angles, and then we're gonna go down on the beach, get some more stuff. I'm currently on the 85mm 1.8 with a variable ND filter. For anybody who is wondering about the specs, I'm currently at ISO 850. This way I can use the variable ND filter to adjust my exposure as it's going on without really adjusting anything else on the actual camera. So, sun's come out pretty soon, so I'm just gonna relax. So today I want to talk to you about the Canon C100 and how important it is to choose a camera based off of your own work instead of blindly following what everybody else tells you to get based on specs or trends or anything else in that realm. I bought this camera back in March of 2016. Previously I was looking to upgrade my T3i to something that I could get a little more out of. I had a budget limit of about $3,000 to buy a new camera. Although I love doing short films, I wanted to get something that could be for all purposes. At the time, most of my work was event filming, so that was my jumping off point. Between the camcorder features, the ability to use my lenses without an adapter, the long battery life, good low light performance, built in ND filters, not needing it to be 4K, not needing to buy any accessories to make it work, the C100 was the right camera for me. Over the past three years, I have filmed a countless number of events, interviews, weddings, concerts, and school graduations. I've also traveled with it and made a bunch of short films and music videos. It can be built up to a cinema style camera as well as stripped down to very small size for a unique shot. Not once has this camera really failed me because I knew it was perfect for the work that I do. I'm not saying that it is perfect for everyone, but it is very important to match the camera to your work because it will make things much easier and much better. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, tell me what kind of camera you shoot with. 
and what makes that camera right for your work.